Hey everybody, it's Chase with American Vintage Adventures again, coming to you from Hollywood Studios to ask you a question, and that is, what are your favorite snacks here at Hollywood Studios? Well, today we are on an adventure to find my top five favorite snacks here at Hollywood Studios, what I consider to be the best five snacks here at Hollywood Studios. So come with me, let's see if my list matches your list. I got you, let's go do this. So next up on my top five list of the best snacks here at Hollywood Studios, I am making a stop by the Baseline Tap House for the famous and excellently priced charcuterie board. Now it has your standard meats, cheeses, I mean, it, it's goat cheese. It is a really good uh, charcuterie board, especially for the price at about $12.50. So it definitely makes our top five best, most have, most excellent snacks here at Hollywood Studios. This one may be my favorite. Of course, it's a shareable size snack, or if you're like me, you can eat the whole thing. Now, we're gonna go try this charcuterie board for pure science and to, to make sure that you see it in the video. Uh, the line's a little long right now, so if we have to cut back to some other footage where I have eaten this before, because yes, I have eaten it many times, we'll do that, but the charcuterie board at Baseline Tap House lands at the top for me. There, there's still one more that wants to duke it out for the top spot. You'll have to wait to see what that is. But the charcuterie board has its place firmly locked on our top five most must-have best snacks um, here at Hollywood Studios. I'm, I'm so hungry, I'm, I'm getting tongue-tied thinking about it. Let's go check out some Baseline Tap House charcuterie board. So how good did that charcuterie board look? I mean, honestly, and for $12.50, it's very shareable. Uh, it's just really good, fresh ingredients. I always love the little pickles, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that look at it. Right now, we're gonna go find another snack that makes my top five that's a little bit more out of this world. All right, next up on our list of the top five uh, must have my top five favorite snacks here at Hollywood Studios is the Ronto Wrap. Let's take a little bit closer look at it before I dig into it. Let's have a bite of one of the top five snacks here at Hollywood Studios. This kind of reminds me of a sausage dog that you might get at the fair. But the uh, the little sauce on there, the peppercorn style sauce, and the slaw, trying to blow away from me, are so good, so flavorful. The Ronto Wrap is definitely on our top five best snacks that you can get here at Hollywood Studios. I'm going to eat it. See you later. We are heading into the market. Now the market is one of the coolest places here at Galaxy's Edge. Uh, it is also home to one of my favorite things here. Let's go check it out. Crazy popcorn mix. 
here are your outpost popcorn mix, a blend of sweet and savory, or you can go with the buttered blue grains, just butter and salt. Don't worry, popcorn is one of my favorite snacks all time. I think it has to do with how much I love movies and going to the movies. I love movie theater popcorn. We're gonna try some popcorn in just a minute. So, one of my other top five snacks here at Hollywood Studios is a simple snack, and I've talked about it before in my AVA's Guide to Galaxy's Edge, but it is the Outpost Mix popcorn over at the market in Galaxy's Edge. It's a combination of savory and sweet. Although I don't really get a lot of savory from it other than little hints of butter and salt. What I get from it is the feeling, and I, and I mentioned this before, is the feeling that I am eating dry cereal. sidetracked by Mando walking by. What am I going to say? Grogu's there. I'm sidetracked. But back to the snack. I don't get a lot of the savory and sweet. I feel like I'm a kid watching Saturday morning cartoons eating dry Fruit Loops or dry Fruity Pebbles with just a little bit of hint of salt and butter in there. So this sort of transports me back to a feeling of being a kid and the 80s and I'm you know it's 1984 I'm sitting there with my brother waiting on cartoons to start and we're in for the morning we're gonna watch G.I. Joe we're gonna watch He-Man we're gonna watch Super Friends we're gonna watch the Smurfs we're gonna watch Transformers and it's gonna be a whole morning that we'll end up finishing off by watching some Scooby-Doo and that's what this snack does for me so that nostalgia pull and the fact that it's only like $5 for a bag. But that nostalgia pull, the great flavor, the fun, it's, it's since the Granville is fun to eat, puts the Outpost Mix popcorn on my list of the top five, I can't hold up my five, top five snacks that you must have at Hollywood Studios. Now when it comes to my top five snacks here at uh, Hollywood Studios, I know a lot of you are probably expecting me to hit Woody's Lunchbox for some tachos, maybe the uh, hazelnut chocolate tart, which is like a uh, pop tart kind of. Um, and the tachos, for me, they're right there. They're right at my top five, but not quite. They're like 5A. So I have my top five. And, and the nachos are just a scotch. If I can't get one of my other five, the nachos always or the tachos always slide in there and take the place of it. And uh, it, they're the potato barrels with the chili, the cheese, all that on top. It's $9.99. It's awesome. Here come the army men. But right now, unless something else can't make it, the tachos are 5 a just off the list. But a very good snack here at Hollywood Studios. Here come the army men. They're angry with me, but let's go find the final two items on our top five list. I know it's a, uh, it's not on our snack list, but I love character interactions. I love it. I hope we get to where we can have them here at Disneyland, the way they do at Disney World, where they just walk around. The way it used to be here back in the 80s when I was a kid. <laughs> Speaking of 80s when I was a kid and character interactions, I found this uh, definitely vintage gold nugget of a photo of me and my older brother yeah. here at Magic Kingdom circa 1983 maybe and you'll notice me because I'm the one on the far side of the photo hey, who is looking very very Sleepy suspect Sleepy of a kind of sinister looking Captain Hook check that out and have a laugh on me <laughs> how cool how cool is that I love old photos like that especially retro Disney World photos but right now it's time to leave the past in the past and go on to the future and the future holds our last two items on our top five snacks here at Hollywood Studios. 
Let's go get them. All right, for the next snack on our top five snack list here at Hollywood Studios, we came right here to the market, which is just right outside Toy Story Land, right over next to Walt Disney Presents before you, you know, hang a left and go back out, out behind uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. The market's just a little stand over here, but it has one of my favorite snacks here, a snack that's only $5.49, plenty shareable, big, delicious. It is the Jack Jack Cookie Num Num. This one is definitely on our top five. I love chocolate chip cookies. I love soft chocolate chip cookies. I love warm soft chocolate chip cookies. I love big chocolate chip cookies. And this has all of the above. Let me see if I can find somewhere where we can take a spot and give it a try. When I say that this is a big cookie, a big warm cookie, I am not lying. I just so you know, I'm six foot three, 250 pounds or so. I have big hands. This is a big, big cookie. Hard to see. I don't want to have my paper blow away. We are going to just take, we're going to take just a little bite of it for right now. Ooh, let's get some with that warm chocolate right there. Looks good and gooey. All right, a little bite for now. I'm gonna save the rest for later because I've been eating all day. Mm. It's so good. It's a big, cakey, soft, moist. By, by the way, the only time you can use the word moist is when you're talking about baked goods. <laughs> but it's soft, moist, warm, chocolatey, not oversweet. You can taste a little hint of vanilla in there. $5.49. Infinitely shareable. And uh, it's a great, great snack. And uh, it's definitely on our top five here at Hollywood Studios. Got a little chocolate on my fingers to prove it. We got one snack to go. Can you guess what it is? It is my favorite. It's the one that dukes it out with the charcuterie board for the top spot. But I think for nostalgia purposes and old school me loving this snack, I think it's gonna take the top spot. Can you guess what it is? Let's go see. All right, for the final thing on our top five snacks here at Hollywood Studios list, we had to come back to the front of the park here to one of my favorite places, the Trolley Car Cafe. Now, you can get coffees, you can get your Starbucks brews, all that stuff here, but it is home to a legacy treat, one of my favorite vintage nostalgic treats, and you know, obviously I love vintage, and that is the carrot cake cookie. Now, this one, uh, I think, takes my top spot. It's been around for a long time. It's always been my favorite. They've changed it over the years. They've changed where you get it. I used to get it at Sweet Spells. There used to be different places to get it, but right now it's home is the Trolley Car Cafe, and uh, I mean I love it. it. How can you beat the carrot cake with the great icing in the middle? Maybe not quite what it once was, but still good enough. I think maybe to nudge out the baseline tap house charcuterie board with the nostalgia factor involved, and the carrot cake cookie takes my top spot. Let's go get it, take a look at it, and a little taste test right now. So there it is in all its glory. The carrot cake cookie that they actually have listed now as a carrot cake whoopie pie, which is probably closer to the truth. I'm gonna take a messy bite of this thing. That's what it does to your fingers. Thankfully I got some napkins. But it's super moist. There's that word again, but it is a baked good. It's super moist. The uh, icing is cream cheese icing. It's so good. Uh, it's only $5. Easily shareable between a couple people, maybe three, if you cut it up. And um, yeah, I love it. It is a nostalgic treat for me. And uh, try to get away from that fountain because it messes up the audio. It's a nostalgic treat for me. I usually 
get one at the end of my day, take it back with me. I'll eat a little bit the next day at breakfast. I mean, I usually work on this thing for a while. I don't, you can't sit and eat it in one setting. It's way too much, but it is really good. And I have to say that it is a close battle with the carrot cake cookie and the charcuterie board at Baseline Tap House for what takes the top spot on our top five list. But I think when you factor in the nostalgia and the longevity of the carrot cake cookie, that takes my top spot here at uh, Hollywood Studios on my top five favorite things uh, snack-wise, top five favorite snacks. I got a mouthful of cookie, I barely can talk. But as for our top five adventure here, <laughs> got a napkin in my hand still. Uh, that's gonna do it. There you have it with our top five. You got the carrot cake cookie, you got the baseline tap house charcuterie board, you got the outpost mix popcorn, you got the Ronto wrap, and you got the Jack Jack's cookie num num, and you got the tachos just sitting out of the top five. Uh, it's sort of like 5A, 5 and 5A, uh, but I love those too. And the lunchbox tart. There's a lot of great snacks here. Those are my top five. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you have a different top five? Does one of mine not belong? Let me know in the comments. Message me at ABA with Chase uh, at gmail.com. We can talk about it. Smash that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. Share this page. Uh, if you enjoyed my adventures, I'll keep on taking you with me. But for right now, this is Chase with American Vintage Adventures saying have a great ABA day and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Still got my napkin. <laughs>